This is the beginning of an exciting day for fireman Tom Briggs. Good luck, Tom, shouts Mrs. Briggs. Tom's just finished a year's training with this fire company. Today, he is starting as firefighter first class of fire department station one. Tom's getting in just in time to join the other firemen, now taking the place of men who have been on duty all night. It's almost 8 a.m. Inspection time for Fire Marshal Jim Dorbin. The Fire Marshal is reviewing the day shift of firefighters. All right, company, he says. You can go ahead. Captain Drake is the duty officer for today. He leads Tom to the aerial ladder truck. Take over, he says. Tom will be Tillerman. His job is to steer the rear wheels of the huge ladder truck. The truck is so long that it needs two men to operate it. The tillerman in the rear and the driver in front. Just now, the driver is checking the engine of the big truck to be sure it's working all right. All the firefighting equipment must be inspected every day and each part cleaned and polished always ready to go just the minute the fire alarm comes in. Whenever they have time, firemen practice what they might have to do in fighting a fire. The area ladder is built to reach high places on tall buildings. See the three ladders, one placed inside the other? They can be extended and turned with the help of a few levers. But firemen use hand ladders too. Sometimes there's no room for the huge ladder truck. Then hand ladders must be used. Here comes Tom. He's carrying a hose roller on his back. His partner carries the rope. Down goes the rope, and up goes the nozzle. The hose roller makes it easy for Tom to pull up the heavy hose. Here's another way to get a heavy hose to the roof. The firemen carry it with the help of hose straps. These firemen practice saving a man's life. One of them makes believe that he is overcome by smoke. Captain Drake shows them how to give oxygen to a smoke victim. The machine forces oxygen into the lungs and pulls out the bad air. Other firemen practice life saving with a life net. Firemen often save lives this way at a real fire. What's this? It looks like a fire. Will anyone see it? A watchful policeman notices the smoke. Quickly he calls in the alarm over the police radio. Alarm, third and me. Alarm, third and mean. Alarm, third and mean. Real work for the firemen now. On to the engines, on to the trucks. Boots on, helmets on, everyone to his place. Tom's rushing up to his tillerman seat. He gives a signal to the engineer, which means I'm ready. Already, the doors are opening. The chief's car is out and away first. The two engine companies follow. Our big area ladder truck is last. 90 seconds after the alarm, and they're on their way. All 
traffic stops. The siren shrieks, clear the way, here come the firefighters. They must hurry. The fire doesn't wait. That's why fire engines may go through red lights on their way to a fire. But firemen always drive very carefully. Tom's keeping a firm hand on the tiller. Round the corner goes the big aerial ladder truck. And round another corner again. One minute after leaving the firehouse, and just two and a half minutes after the alarm was turned in, the firemen are at the fire. Hand letters up to the second floor. First engine company, move up. Carry up that hose, boys. Second engine company, pull up closer. Take the ladder truck to the rear of the house. Connect the hose to the water hydrant. Open up. The water rushes into the pumper. The engineer puts the pumps in operation. Gradually opens the valves. The hoses swell as the water rushes through them. And already the spray is cooling the flame. But the fire is spreading to the roof. Little Judy and her parents are very worried. Will the firemen save their home? Marshal Dorbent orders the aerial ladder up. Carefully, the engineer lowers the heavy ladder so it doesn't crush the roof. Up goes Tom, just as he did at fire drill. Step up the pressure. More water in through the windows. More pressure. More water up to the roof. Tom's opening a hole in the roof to release smoke and heat from the attic. Smoke's rushing up through the hole. Tom cuts another hole to let more heat out. Now the engine pumps with full force. Firemen with smoke masks go inside to see if all the fire has been put out. The fire seems to be dying down. Firefighter Tom and Captain Drake are happy that they could save Judy's house and her kitten. The fireman's job is done. Down goes the area ladder. Wet hoses are rolled up and go back to the truck, each in its proper place. Now Judy can better understand why firemen are so important. The firemen have done a good job, and now they have to go back to the fire station. On their way back, they follow traffic rules of their town like other cars. No sirens needed now. Only a fire gun. And soon they are back at the firehouse, ready to rush out again to protect their community from fires. <laughs>